You know, to me, it says everything that James took on something like this, because he stays true to his heart. As a director, as someone who's creative, he's not, he hasn't sold out. James Cameron's directing style is, actually, he, he, he is unlike any other director I've ever worked with. He sticks to stories and projects that he really feels are representative of who he is, and I think that's, that takes a lot of courage. I first met James Kerwin. He was making a film called Midsummer. I happen to be the film commissioner in North Texas. I did a little bit extra than most film commissioners do because I saw something in James more than I saw in other people that came into the office. He listens. He values my opinion, which I like. Um, and I, I've actually learned a lot about acting from James. I try to storyboard as much of my film as I can before we get on set. To me, shot composition, just like lighting, just like sound design, just like acting, just like costuming, just like everything, are all important tools. This is why I love film so much, because there's so many different art forms combined in it, and you have to be aware of each of those different art forms, how they interplay, how they work together. There's a big picture that's being told here, and all those little pieces have to come together and that's typically the director's job to make sure they do. You have all these tools at your disposal, so use them wisely. Shot composition has a very subconscious psychological effect on the audience. If I jib this camera right now, what is that saying? So I try to approach every single camera movement that I make with that particular question in mind. Two of my favorite directors are Hitchcock and Kubrick, and one thing that th they did a lot of is be extremely meticulous and pay attention to the details. He's very strong about what he wants to put on the screen, but he's flexible to realize that that's not the only way. I'll ask him certain questions like, well, you know, um, do you think that the, she's a product of a, a broken home? And, and he'll like get this look and be like, what do you think? At every step of the way, there are going to be things that other people see that I don't. And that's why I need to surround myself by people whom I trust. He'll listen to others' opinions and yeah, I agree or I disagree, He's not. he won't discount it. And you can tell that he's really listening to what you're saying. He may still want to do it the way that he had planned, but he's listening. We're kind of waiting through it together. I feel like it, we're a team more than, you know, he is directing me and I am doing what he is saying. We're sort of exploring it together. I need to be pushed. I, I need to be forced to the next level. You know, I've been pulling some of my little tricks, my little acting tricks out of my hat, you know, doing them. He's like, stop that, knock it off. Just say the line, do it, do it, you know, for real. Don't, don't pull your Stanislavski. The only thing in this industry that's more powerful than, than money or distribution deals or whatever is your lo loyalty, your reputation, your integrity as a person. James is one of the few people in Hollywood that to me has um, principles and loyalty and the, the type of things that I see that I want to be surrounded by. The people that you choose to work with and surround yourself with are everything. You can't do it without them. I've come to pretty much all of James's plays, uh, gone to screenings of his films, and I think that's important in the business to support people that you believe in. I'm very, very pleased to be working with him finally in the direct capacity. You have to have people who are loyal to your vision, and, and at the same time, you have to have people who are inherently talented themselves enough to be able to make that vision come to life. I like people participating in the creative process. You have to stop short of directing by committee, um, because while film is a collaborative medium in one sense, in another sense, in an artistic sense, it is an auteur-based medium. So um, balancing those two things is a challenge.